Hi, my name is Lefred and this is MySQL Shorts. Today we will see how to easily deploy MySQL in a DB cluster, the ultimate HA solution for MySQL. So we will deploy MySQL on three instances and one router. Here we can see the three instances. I have a terminal open on each instances and on the MySQL router. So we locally connect on each instances. Here I connect to MySQL 1 with MySQL shell and I do DBA configure instance. I create a dedicated user for the cluster to administrate it. So I call it cluster admin and I give a password. Please note the password should be the same on all three nodes. Shell asks me to change some settings and I let it do it for me. And it restarts the instance. I do the same on MySQL 2. So I connect locally and I configure the instance. MySQL was installed on the three instances and started. Nothing else done on the instances. So I'm connected now on two and three also, and I do DBA configure instance. I create again a user, a local user, using the same credentials, cluster admin and a password. It has to do some changes. I let the MySQL shell do perform all the changes for me. And we do exactly the same on MySQL tree. When done on the first instance, MySQL 1, which will be the primary, I connect using the new credentials we have created. So cluster admin at MySQL 1. Now we're going to create a cluster, so it will be a cluster object using the DBA create cluster method and I give a name to my cluster. MySQL shell will create the cluster, it's already done, so we already have a cluster with one single node. Of course this is not HA yet, it will need more than one instance. So to do that, we use cluster add instance and the address of a second instance. I use MySQL2. Data provisioning, it's included, and I use clone. It's very fast, there is very few data here. MySQL shell will restart the instance after copying the data. Now we can see on the cluster that we have two nodes cluster with MySQL2 as a secondary node. Now we install the tree. So we have added MySQL3 also. Now we have a full HA cluster with three nodes where MySQL3 is also a secondary. We can use cluster describe to have a short status out of it. Finally, we need to bootstrap the router. To bootstrap the router, we use MySQL router with bootstrap command, connecting to one of the nodes, usually the primary. So I use again the same credentials, cluster admin at MySQL1. The system user will be MySQL router. This is on Oracle Linux and I use conf use gr notification. So if there is a change in the topology, group replication will send it to the router directly. We use the credentials and it's done. He has deployed the router already. So we can start it using systemctl. The router is also part of the cluster, so we can list it and we can see the router is there with all the ports for read-only ports, read-write ports, and the new read-write split port. So thank you for watching. Please make sure to hit like and subscribe.